Hello, Bernadette from Bernie's Creations, and I'm here working on a uh, uh, working some more on this piece. Today I'm adding resin, and uh, um, and to Paul's shipwrecked boat. And I do have Kim on the other camera, who was kind of sitting with me and and watching as we go. So, anyways, I'm gonna put you on pause, and I'll. Put you in the pedestal and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm still kind of mixing up the, uh, the resin because I'm going to pour resin on this. And but I have my 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 lighthouse, which I'm going to be adding right here. And today is I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to be able to get done today, um, but I have added a little bit of light. And I'll be adding, I'll be taking a brush and, and uh, adding a little bit more like the striations of the, or the lines for the rays. But for right now, I'm, I'm going to put you on pause again because I'm still stirring my, uh, uh, the resin. And uh, I don't want you guys to have to sit there while I am stirring. So I'm going to pause you and I'll be back in a minute. All right. So I... That I think that well, I'm going to let the, the resin sit for a minute because I still have some stuff to do on in regards to the um, the lighthouse. I feel like I'm getting resin in my hair. Um, I'm going to pause you again because I need to put my hair up. Because I don't want resin in my hair. All right, I am back. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the neon yellow and kind of. I don't know that I like that. No. I'm not liking that. Try just really, really, really fine lines, like whenever you're uh, shading in the bubbles. Well, I don't have anything. Well, actually, maybe I do. I have a toothpick. And the toothpick's not going to be... The toothpick's not going to work. Q-tip? I don't have a Q-tip. Oh, there you go. There's a lot to come out. Um, the only thing is it's not close enough to the... Okay, let's try and see if I can get it closer to the... Uh... Now I gotta flip it around the other way because I can't. And if you're gonna do the moon, I will put it behind the moon and not on top. But we stuck a touch of it on well, the moon. Well, you can't really do it because the moon's already on there, so. I'd be extremely careful. I'm yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, bossy. Stop. No, you stop. I'm not the one being bossy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to have to wait for that to dry 
I'm going to actually use my torch because I'm not going to add any more of the, uh, what do you think? Can you see it so far? Yep. Thumbs up. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering though if I should. Well, I don't know that I want it to go up. Not many more. Seeing as I've got there, kind of have to. Okay, so I'm going to use my torch to uh, if I have to get the bubbles. I'm going to need to find some more butane. I mean, I don't... Yes, I will need some more butane. I'm going to pause this while I go and look for some butane. All right. So, um, I cannot put resin on this if it, the paint is still wet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my finger and dab it and kind of not remove it, but kind of make it fade a little so that it'll dry. So does that still look okay to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Good to hear. All right. Now, where did I put my resin? There it is. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> TikTok and we're ready. Yep, TikTok is going. I just need to uh, torch this a little bit, get some of these bubbles that are popped up up top. Okay, so I am going to, and um, I have a feeling that I only have enough resin to do this one painting. So the second painting will be a uh, second video. So this is my Paul's shipwreck and uh, um, there are some things that I want to do. I need to, and I did put, I put tape up around the corners or around the edges up above the, uh, the painting so that I can pour and not worry about it pouring off the edges but I need I'm going to take a little bit of the resin set it aside uh, and we'll see what happens as to whether or not because because I need to, I want to make waves on here so I'm going to pour this And it will need another coat of resin, yes, because it's not going to totally and completely cover. Right now, all it's going to do is just cover a little bit or give a little bit of a top coat that I will need in regards to uh, doing and making the, uh, uh, the wet crashing waves. and seal in the uh, the pieces that are already here. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put the steps on the staircase. Okay, well, I can do it afterwards. Actually, I think that's I think the waves in that may come at a different time because I don't think I mixed up enough resin. Yeah, I did not.
see this way with the tape along the edges I can pour the uh, resin or uh, tilt the resin and not worry about it going off the edges. Whoops. Sorry about that, Kim. Did not mean it to knock you around. I might have enough to be able to do a little bit of a wave. Now I'm seeing dolphins over that redneck thing. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Yes, I can see them too. Yep. So I'm going to pour a little bit of on top of here because there's not enough. With that silver underneath, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's dry or wet. But then when I look and get close, I'm like, okay, that is wet. So that is covered. So I actually think I am going to mix a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. And I need my my blower, my blower, which is right here. So I'm gonna pause this for a moment so that I can plug in my blower. All right, so let's get the white added, and I'm just gonna do a couple of little strings. And I actually need some, well, I'll do some later on here too, but. Uh, actually, I need, a, where did the rest of that go? Because I need a little bit of the, where did the blue go? I'm going to put a little bit of midnight blue in. One, two, three, four. That should be good. Let's see how dark this is. No, nope, I need a little bit more because it needs to be a, just a little bit darker. Two, three, there. I'm not adding any more. Okay, and I probably have too much, but that's okay. Uh, I will uh, All 
All right, now let's see, let's get the, uh, I'm gonna move those over there because I don't want them to be blown over by the gust of this, the heater. So it's gonna be a little bit loud for a minute. I need a little bit more white because, uh, where did they put it? There it is. Because I need the white to become crashing. And I'll be doing this again on another, once I add another layer of uh, resin in a uh, day or two. Pardon? Pardon? Did you cover up that moon with the other blue? Yeah, I'm not done yet. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, because I'm going to need to add another layer of uh, resin for now, and that's as far as I want to go in regards to... Uh, What I will probably end up doing is once this is once this is set, which will be like 24 hours tomorrow. Well, it'll probably be set tonight, but for uh, 
Uh, I won't be doing any more work on it today or tonight, probably not till tomorrow. And, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll see in regards to uh, the next layer and, and that. But for now, I'm going to set this over here. Uh, and, uh, actually, I'm going to torch it first and make sure there's no bubbles. there and then I'm going to move this over here to sit and that is where it will that is where it'll stay overnight but for now I have because I had already done some turtles I'm not taking this one out because this one still needs more work but I'm going to take this one out this is a homemade mold that I made of a turtle and I'll need to uh, do some fixing some well because there's little pieces stick it so I'll need to sand it but there is my turtle what do you think Kim There's my resin turtle. It, I need to do some sanding along the edge, um, but that is him. And then I'll have to give him some eyes. I'll have to color some, I'll use some black marker and give him some eyes. But other than that, my turtle is done. Okay, so I'm gonna set my turtle aside and then I'm gonna use, because I have leftover, I'm going to kind of drizzle it in here, put some in there. And then I have a little bit of the white left, so I'm going to use the, and I don't think I have any of the clear left. I might, might be a little bit of clear. Well, let's get some of this into the tail. Okay, so there's that is done. Now let's get some of this the rest of this white in here. Let's put that over there and let's see if we have, well, there's a little bit of, there's a tiny bit of clear. I might be able to scrape it out and pour it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This might just finish off this turtle. And then I can unmold this turtle tomorrow too.
Nope, I still might need a little bit more, just uh, one more little bit tomorrow. We'll see. Well, maybe not. And then tonight at 7 p.m., I am doing a uh, another paint pour. And this one I'm doing is called an injection pour. And I have two people that I actually inspired me with this one. Mixed Media Girl or Mixed Media. I think, I think it's Mixed Media Girl. And uh, uh, Rinska Downa. So I'm going to set my turtle aside and uh, I'm going to pull you guys down. Actually, I'm going to flip my, my painting around. And I'm going to pull you guys down. I'm going to pause you first. Okay, so uh, TikTok, YouTube, you know the drill. Uh, if you like, like, comment, please, uh, let me know what you think, and, uh, um, uh, for YouTube, uh, if you want to see, uh, future videos as they're being uploaded, uh, subscribe, and, uh, TikTok, uh, follow. Let me know in comments of this video that you have followed me, and I'll follow you back. All right, I'm going to flip you around and let you see the painting. So there, oh, there is the painting that we have worked on today. And uh, there is, oh, and it's pouring rain. There is our lighthouse and I've still got to, I'm going to do some more work and I'll bring some more crashing waves up. Um, I don't know that I have enough waves. I'm, I mean, I still have a little bit more white, so I might add a little bit more. But, but I do have another layer that I'm going to be adding uh, to make more waves, and uh, and then I'll bring my hair dryer out because my hair dryer gives a little bit more of a harder push. But there we go, and. Uh, as I said, it needs one more uh, one more layer of uh, resin, and uh, and then possibly a top coat, and uh, and then we're done for this one. So, all right, flip the camera. So, thank you for joining me. Bye.